Yeah, one, one problem with, uh, regardless of the issue, uh, with understanding what Robeson's feelings were, uh, is that he almost never recorded his feelings. He was a man who throughout his life wrote very few letters, uh, and except for very brief little uh, occasional notes, he never kept a diary. Uh, so it's essentially guesswork when, we, when we're talking about Robeson's inner life and what his motivations might be or what his feelings might be, and even in certain crucial uh, areas, what his opinions were. Uh, we have to be very careful. It's not, it's not certain most of the time. But we do know that Robeson quit Hollywood uh, in the early 40s. And when he quit, he made a public announcement uh, saying, you know, he was tired of playing stereotypic roles which demeaned his race. And since Hollywood not, was not prepared to give him any other kind of role, uh, he was going to withdraw. Uh, and he hoped that independent producers might sometime, and possibly even sometime soon, come up with different kinds of roles, not only for himself, but for black actors in general. Uh, the history of Hollywood and race is the history of only giving a select few black actors and actresses any roles at all, and then, then confining them to roles that were almost always stereotypes. What I think Robeson managed to do, though the roles he played today, when we see those films, the roles are often ludicrous stereotypes. Uh, nonetheless, I think the force of that personality, the sheer charisma of the man, frequently broke through the stereotype. And so the figure you see on the screen is in fact a figure of great power and authority, even if he is dressed, you know, in an animal skin uh, and holding some absurd spear in his left hand. So uh, Almost despite the kinds of roles he was offered, he nonetheless is a breakthrough figure in the history of uh, the cinema and, and uh, its relationship to blacks. Certainly that's the way uh, contemporary black stars like Sidney Poitier have talked about Robeson. They feel that he did play a central role, even though he never got to film Othello, uh, or anything, anything that was non-stereotypic, uh, nonetheless, seeing that forceful black man on the screen uh, managed to be an inspiration.